بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing i'll i'll quickly give an idea like we have seen the configurations in the previous lab we have assigned the ports 1 2 3 4 and 9 and 12 basically in the vlan 10 and port numbers there's 5 6 10 and 11 in the vlan 20 so we have verified they all uh, we have verified the lab previously with the same subnet that is just for testing but practically in the production scenarios every vlan uh, just like you know uh, we we do have a department let's say accounts marketing sales and let's say we have it department hr department and we want to make sure that these vlans basically these uh, departments should not communicate with each other so we logically make them in different subnets so they will be in a logically different subnets as generally like you can either take 20 20 30 40 or you can take one two three whatever the network you you design but i'm using in my lab this is something what i'm using but this is just an example here and also will ensure that they are in different vlans now the different vlans means this will ensure that the there is no broadcast between the vlans because uh, in the initial examples if you remember i already discussed this part even though you design you design in a different subnets if they are in the same vlan that is a default vlan one so the broadcast will go to each and every one so which will increase unnecessary uh, broadcast traffic and affect the network performance and to optimize will design in such a way that every department will be in the different subnets as well as in the different vlan so this is a typical hierarchy which we follow and this is something we generally do so let me quickly uh, verify based on this what i did is i'll be using a different topology here so if you just try to verify this is a different topology which i have saved so what i did is i just reconfigured the previous topology so the same pieces so what i did is i, I have assigned port number one two three four and nine and eleven right so nine and eleven or nine and ten whatever the ports if you remember as per our topology 9 and 12 so 9 and 12 i have assigned them in vlan 10 i have just moved the pieces and likewise port number 7 and 8 and 5 6 10 and 11 in the vlan 20 so this is vlan 20 this is vlan 10 and this is a uh, vlan 30 so i just moved the pieces uh, slightly in the order so that i can you know easily identify them and if you go and verify i have changed the ips also so what i did is i even changed the ips like in my previous network I was using the same network now this time i'm using this 192.168.1. subnet here and on this pc i'm using 192.168.2. subnet and on this vlan 30 i'm using 192.168.3. subnet so this is your typical design you follow of course not the design what i showed you previously that is just for verification so if i go and check on any one of the pc like in my case this is going to be 1.1 so that should able to reach uh, 1 1.4 1 1.2 3 4 9 and 12 right i think those are the ports what i have assigned of course you can go and check on my switch as well instead of my slide because i have assigned the ips as per that if you see the configuration here i can see port number 1 2 3 4 9 and 12 should be able to reach so let's go and verify this uh, if i try to ping 192.168.1.2 i'm able to reach as well as 1.3 you can see i'm getting a reply as well as 1.4 of course 1.5 is not present we do have 1.9 not 1.9 actually i've changed the ips to 1.5 even though this is connecting on port number 9 and port number 12 i have just changed the ips to 5 and 6 okay so so i can still able to reach 1.5 and 1.6 so if you want you can I can show you you know i have changed the ips if you go to this fifth computer you can see because this you know how to change so basically there's no point in showing you the basic steps i already did this part just to save the time and similar way if you go and check on on this pcs if i go to one of this pc and if i try to check my ip address in this subnet so this is like 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 of course the ports whatever we have assigned in the vlan 20 so i don't remember the port it's just like 5 6 10 and level i think so i can still ping to the other pieces because they are in different subnets of course they are in the same subnet 
other than VLAN 10. You can see 2.2, 2.3, uh, 2.4. So 2.4 is the next PC. So I'm still able to reach these PCs here. And similar way, if I go and check on the third VLAN, which is my third network, so I have configured the IPs on this, and these two ports belongs to VLAN 30, and this is 3.1 and 3.2, and I think I'm on 3.2, so it's okay. I'll try to ping on 3.1. I must have reachability to 3.1. So I do have just only two pieces, but if I try to ping to 192.168.1.1, so the reply will not come because the reason is from 3.2, if I try to reach 1.1, .1, the communication will not happen because the simple reason is they are in different VLANs. That's the first thing. Okay, so from one VLAN to another VLAN, no broadcast, no unicast, multicast. And also they are in different subnets. Of course, different subnets is another reason. Even though you assign them in same VLAN, different subnets also is not going to work. Or even if you assign in the uh, diff say different subnets, but same VLAN also is not going to work. So basically in the production networks, we can allow uh, the communication from here to here with the help of a router. That's what we'll see in the later on concepts with the help of routing. So routing is a method of communicating between different networks. We do that within the LAN as well as over the LAN, outside the LAN. We'll be covering more in details in the routing topics. But this is uh, like a design which I explained. Different departments, always we use a different uh, VLANs as well as different subnets. So you can just design this topology. This is something what we use in production scenarios, not the previous one. The previous one was the same subnet for verification, but this one is the actual design we follow.